Hi, I'm Debbie Birch. I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and I'm here today to talk about an upcoming event on Saturday, May 10th. It's the Sudlersville Toy and Train Show, and it's to benefit the old Sudlersville train station. It's actually going to be held at the Volunteer Fire Department there, which is right down the street from the train station. And I have Kurt here, who's a member of the train society, train station group up there, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the event and what is going on that day because there are there's something really interesting that they're going to have there. So, Kurt, welcome, and tell us a little bit about the show. Okay. Um, well, the Southernville uh, Train Museum uh, um, was renovated in 1991 and uh, has been open for visitors to see the museum, which uh, it's an original train station and it's been restored. Um, we also have in there some Jimmy Fox memorabilia because Jimmy Fox was a, was a local boy in Sudlersville many years ago. Uh, for you baseball fans, um, <laughs> national was he a Hall of Famer? He yeah, was a Hall, yeah, Hall of Famer, Famer right? right? Yep. Right. Okay. Um, we also own the property across the railroad tracks. By the way, that railroad line is an operating line. The railroad does come through there, uh, but we it no longer is used for passengers. Uh, and okay. But we own the property across the railroad tracks, and we wanted to put an expanded museum in oh, there for nice. the train station. And we've raised uh, an, an amount of money, but it's insufficient to do what we want to do. So the train show is, uh, is an effort for us to raise more money so that we'll have uh, uh, additional monies to be able to build the uh, expanded museum across the railroad tracks. Okay. So that's the pur purpose behind it. So the benefit is, is for the train museum itself. And so that day, um, I know you're going to have breakfast and lunch for sale, and there's going to be door right. prizes, and of course you can tour the museum. Right. But the thing that really caught my interest was you're going to have a 3D printer yeah. operating that day. And yeah. can you tell us about sure. that? Uh, I've been to many of the train shows. Denton has a train show, Seaford, Dover, Hartley. Uh, there are train shows all over the peninsula. But we're the only train show that's going to have a 3D printer. And what is a 3D printer? Well, you, you may or may not have heard of it, but uh, years back, the cell phone, when it came out, in about five years, everybody had one. Laptops come out, in five years, everybody had one. Well, uh, in 3D printers, in five years, everybody will have one. And um, they just sent 3D printers out to sea on the US Navy, on the warships. And I picked up my current copy of Popular Mechanics and surprise, there's three stories in there about 3D printers being used for uh, uh, different uh, things. A lot of your um, uh, medical devices are made on 3D printers, like joints for okay. your knees and your elbows, where they make the ball and the cup. They're plastic, and they have to go, right. go together. They make it for unique for your body. That's made with 3D printers. So and, basically, and instead of it coming out on a piece of paper, it's coming yeah. out on plastic, right. but it's in 3D yeah. form. And he's brought a, Kurt's brought couple, a couple of samples. A couple of samples, yeah. You can make model rockets. You can make Christmas ornaments, jewelry. Uh, this is a Sears Craftsman house, and I painted it a little bit just to give you an idea of it. And what's, what's neat about the printer is once you get the model, you can make it any size you want. This is an HO scale for you trained people. This is a Z scale, same house, but different. Um, here's a house, different shape, different size. We, we even here's have the a, toilet yeah, here's a toilet, for doll which houses. can be used for doll houses, <laughs> or it can make a really small one and put it in the, in the house. Here's an engine block that has all of the cavities and everything for uh, water channels and oil channels. You can make this through. Anyway, it's going to be operating on display. I'll be there answering questions about it. And um, we hope you come. I know there's going to be a lot of people coming to see the printer. Is operation. there any cost to get into the show? Or? Well, the normal charge for a train show is a $5 okay. ticket. But that allows you to go to the train museum and to the uh, train show itself. Excellent. The train show will have tables and vendors selling new and used um, uh, train and okay. toy you know, items. Um, and it'll be all scales, O scale, okay. HO scale. And they'll get a wristband which so goes on, so they can, on. Go, so they the can go to the different places gotcha. and come back. And it has a numbered 
tag on it, which we uh, tear off and put for the door so prizes. So that's the door that's prizes. How you get the I was door wondering prize. how you were going to do that. Yeah, yeah. Very smart. Okay. The, and you're, it, according to what I read is the door prizes are going to be on the hour. So yeah. get there early so you can get as many hour drawings <laughs> in as right. possible. That's right. That's many right. chances. Um, and again, this is Saturday, May 10th from 9 to 3 at the Sudlersville Volunteer Fire Department. And it's to benefit the Sudlersville train station and get them going so they can build the new facility there. So come out and take a look at it. And thanks for coming in and sharing this. I'm, I'm excited about the 3D printer okay. and seeing what that does.